Hi Diamond Painting friends, Jessica here with Tiny Worlds of Wonder. Today I'm popping in for a post review on this piece that I really enjoyed doing <laughs> called Santa Face by Diamond Art Club. Um, this was a release, I believe early in December. I could have the details wrong on that, but I ordered this on a Friday right when it came out. I got it on a Monday, which was unbelievably fast shipping. Um, this is a 51 by 71 centimeter canvas with 40 colors and original artwork by the McNeil Studio. As always, I encourage you to check out the McNeil Studios website. I'll put a link in the description below. They have some really, really cool pieces of art that I think they license for all kinds of products. So that's really cool. Um, so has this canvas changed my mind a little bit about DAC. Now, if you guys have been around the channel for a while, you know that I have been very honest about both the things I love about DAC and the things that I don't love about DAC. So hopefully um, that has come across the way I intended, which is just as a an honest but not unkind review of the products. Um, I would say that I really had a good experience with this canvas. I'm gonna be honest with you. So, things that I look for in basically an ideal canvas when I am diamond painting are, one, a good canvas and adhesive. And I gotta be honest with you guys, this canvas material and the adhesive that DAC uses, these are my favorite canvas materials and glue of any canvas that I've ever worked on. They are outstanding. They're, I've never worked on anything better than a DAC canvas and adhesive. Um, the drills on this canvas were round, so I couldn't assess whether any of the square drill gapping has been addressed or not. I believe it has, um, but this was a round drill painting. It's extremely twinkly. It has a lot of fantastic sparkle. The ABs um, up here in Santa's hat and in his beard are just gorgeous in person. They are so, so sparkly. They're just like diamonds. So the drills are amazing. That's the second thing I look for. The third thing I look for is the overall outcome. So is it true to the original artwork in size? That means, is it rendered large enough? Um, and is the rendering true to the aesthetic of the original? And if I base my review on that checklist, I really feel like this canvas ticks all three elements. Um, one thing that DAC has done recently that I really, really enjoy is that they have um, given previews online. I'm gonna switch this angle while I'm talking so you guys can see more. Um, they have given renderings online for every canvas and I really think that is a great idea. I got to see what this looked like beforehand, so I got to judge whether I thought the size and the rendering would be something I would like. Um, and so that was really positive. So way to go on that DAC, I think that's a great idea. Um, so in the past, one of my biggest criticism criticisms of Diamond Art Club has been that they sometimes render artwork in their hand charting style that doesn't really fit that style. So things that have a lot of detailed color variations. I'll slide this around as I talk. Of course I'll take you out for a long view too at the end here, but. Um, things that don't necessarily fit their rendering style that well. DAC's rendering style tends to be quite color blocked. So of course not all artwork is going to be suitably rendered in color blocking. Um, and more detailed artwork is just not gonna work very well. This artwork by the McNeil Studio fits DAC's rendering style very well and the size that they rendered it in I think is really, really cool. When I step back from this canvas, um, some of the lines of delineation fade as always as they always do from a distance, and it just looks really, really nice. I'll show you that in a minute. 
So I didn't run out of any drills. I had plenty of red drills left and there were oceans of red drills on this canvas. Um, tons left over. Absolutely no problems with quality on this canvas. All in all, I would say this is a huge win for DAC. I really enjoyed working on this one. It worked up very quickly. Um, and I am really looking forward to hanging this in my house next Christmas. <laughs> and of course, I'll show you how I might frame this piece and let you in on some of that. For now, I'm going to end off with taking you out for a long view so you can see this piece from farther away. Hopefully I can capture some of the sparkle. It's never going to be as good as it is in real life, but I'll try. Once again, A plus on this one, DAC. I really enjoyed working on it and I think it turned out really, really beautiful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. As always, spread some joy wherever you are today and I'll catch you next time. Bye.